All right, guys. So, like I said, like I said in the last video, um, a lot of my footage got messed up, which kind of sucks because I did. We've already, I've already done a lot of work to the new 350Z. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you where we're at, and I'll like add in some of the clips that I have that didn't get screwed up. But um, it's coming along pretty good. So this right here is a 90 or a 2000, a 90, <laughs> a 2005 Nissan 350Z. Um, as soon as the car hit the yard, immediately stripped all the interior out of it. Excuse my yard, I know it's a mess. Um, but stripped all the interior out of it, all the wiring and everything. Um, like I said, a friend of mine bought this car just to get the engine and transmission and then uh, sold me the chassis. So stripped everything out of it and stripped everything out of that HR car, which is up there and put it all in here. So the wiring harness and everything is from the HR car. And the reason for doing that is if you guys remember the car that I bought to HR swap, my 350Z was just a well-kept stock Nissan, you know, 350Z. And then I got that car that had like cams and stuff in that. So I just put that engine in my car. So that left me with a spare HR engine, which I was just going to hang is like, oh, hang on to it. It's like, hey, if my car blows up, I got a spare engine. They're right here, which is just being used to hold stuff. But so I'm going to put this engine into the new car. Man, my yard is an absolute mess. I haven't even cleaned up from the 350Z project before all this stuff. So adding top of like all the other things I got going on. <laughs> but yeah, as you can tell, it's like like swamp water right now. We've been hit with like a couple of rainstorms. Um, so I can't really do much. But I just wanted to get you guys updated on this car. So it's just gonna basically be dash, carpet, the driver, racing seat, and the passenger seat. I'm not gonna put any interior in the back. Um, I'm like really against like, um, you know, pulling the inter interior out of your car for, you know, you drive around on the street. I don't get to drive that much on track. So it doesn't really make sense, but I have tons of other cars. This right here is going to be the, if I'm in this car, it's probably gonna be on the track. <laughs> so eventually I'll cut all this out and put a roll cage in it. But for now, I'm just putting it together with what I have laying around the yard. So the G35, if you guys remember that, I kept all the G35 wheels and the Brembo's off the G35s. This car had like the little anniversary wheels on it, whatever you want to call it. So getting rid of them, just running some G35 wheels with the Brembo's. Just threw some spacers in there to get like some decent fitment. The front and everything. These were just like my rear tires for like drifting and everything so i ordered uh the rear caliper brackets for this car as well because i have like another set of brembo so i'm just going to use the rears on here so i'll have a uh, you know a good handbrake set up uh this thing had like the you know max peating rod coilovers on there which there's there's nothing wrong with those but i'm just not gonna mess with that so i took those off and the other hr 350z that i bought for parts i just took the struts off it Throw a little set of lowering springs on there and put them back in here and you know i'd much rather be on lowering springs than like you know cheap coilers <laughs> but the cool thing about having like two 350z's which like i said it doesn't make sense especially you know i don't have the money to have like two cars but it's just my other car is like becoming way too nice to be a simple seat thrash car just something to drive so that right there is going to give me something that i can like really drive and just not have to worry about breaking it so in the next video <laughs> i'll get you guys updated on the white 350z and uh, we'll start getting some parts and everything put on it like i said that car right there um i'm really hoping god my yard's such a mess man like this is starting to bug me man i just i still got stuff laying in the yard from the arc sevens but in the next video for this thing we'll uh We'll finish the swap, get the engine and everything in here. Um, all I have to do is just bolt the engine transmission together, sit it in the car, and we should be good to go. And like I said, I have some HR door panels I'm gonna throw in here, and um, yeah, it should be ready to roll. Yeah, my buddy was gonna park this car out, and I was like, dude, don't just let me buy it. So I got like 107, like 107,000 miles on it. 
and it's a cool color. So I'm glad he uh, he worked with me and let me get it for a pretty good deal. Um, so he's actually going to go pick up another 350Z because I've been seeing in the praise of 350Zs. I won't say they're cheap, but as soon as you start saying a chassis is cheap, like people want to start raising the price on them. They're definitely not cheap. They're just affordable. I feel like the 350Zs or where 240s used to be, you know, 10 years ago. You know, you can get like a an S13 or S14 running and driving for like just, you know, a little bit of money. And you know, now they're like freaking 10 grand. That's retarded. That's kind of where Z's are. They're affordable. They're they're easy to work on. Parts are everywhere. So if you don't have a 350Z, you should definitely get one. Buy some blown up junk and just, you know, throw an engine in it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll uh, I'll put in the clips of have like when we had this thing tore all the way apart, like after the end of the video. But like I said, I just want to get some kind of update on it. But like I said, uh, next video we'll get the engine together and get it set down in that car, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Should be an easy thing. Just drop it in, hook it up, and it fires up and run like it's supposed to. Besides having the key reprogrammed, because I left the um, the original key with that car, just that way if like you need to go get you know a key cut you can just take your registration to the dealership and get a key cut you don't have to like you know get someone to figure out the key whatever it is out of the door so and like my poor white z it's been so hobbled and cobbled together like i don't even know where the original key is because <laughs> when i ls swapped it i like pretty much sold my full interior out of that thing so all right that's it for this one like i said just, like I said, just want to make some little video with that car um before i got you know too far ahead of myself but it is what it is all right guys appreciate you watching hope you enjoy these little bit of clips of us tearing apart a 350z and like i said in the next video i'll give you guys an update on the white one so we'll just start rolling like this keep going keep going <laughs> so i get completely updated on all my junk but as you can tell busy always but all right guys appreciate you and we'll see you on the next one all right, so we're just going to, like I said, get all this crap out of here because it's been sitting for a, a long time. So, But headlights are in pretty decent shape. So that's pretty cool. It's one less thing to have to worry about. And like a bunch of like engine parts and all that kind of crap. And this fancy little paint job someone done on all the trim pieces, that's cool. I don't know what that is. Alright guys, as you can see, we've been extremely busy. Got my man over here hanging out, helping me. What's up? <laughs> but this thing is nasty. Not only we got beach sand back here, let me go take you to the front. The, they'll say the mice was living good, they had the beach in the back. <laughs> like the condos up front but look there was like four big nests in here you had one behind the seat look at all that crap like look at that and all that all that there was like a big nest behind the radio like look at the floor and stuff it's freaking gross so now we got the interior out of this thing we're gonna roll the carpet up and then burn it so <laughs> but all right so we're gonna get this thing completely stripped which we're not done, but get it completely stripped down, like all the interior and stuff, the wiring harness, and then pressure wash the car. And then I'll be taking everything out of that crashed HR up there, wiring harness and everything, putting it here, putting my backup engine transmission into here, and it should crank up and run just like an HR is supposed to. But we're going to get the rest of this knocked out, and I'll show you guys after we get it all cleaned up and everything. I just want to show you how disgusting it was in here. All right, guys. So we got this thing stripped completely for the most part. Everything needs to be out. We got the car sprayed off, which actually looks really good now. So, and we just basically pressure washed it real quick. Taking the standard brakes off because I have a set of Brembo's we're gonna put on here. We got everything out of the engine bay that needs to be out, which is pretty much just the wiring harness. Like I'm gonna try to play with the wiring harness and see if I can figure out exactly what differences they are, but I'm not, not making any promises because we're just trying to get this done. So uh, we're going to basically just take all the wiring out of the HR car 
throw it in the DE car so everything will hook up, plug and play and work with the, you know, the body control module, the computer and the key and everything from the donor car. So it shouldn't be an issue just for this, to sit this stuff in here and fire it up and have a running driving car. It's basically gonna be an HR car like it would come from the factory. So just in a, you know, a rev up chassis. So, let's not get in here. Well, like I got the dash out, the dash harness and all that stuff. Sprayed out all the uh, rat droppings or mice droppings, whatever. So now we're good to go. But I'll show you guys what it looks like once we get the engine harness or the chassis harness and everything and get all the stuff back in here. So try to keep you updated. <laughs> all right, guys, I had to show you this real quick. Like I said, I didn't want to put a lot of money in this thing. I was basically like kind of put it together basic, but we went ahead and kind of fancied it up a little bit. So I went ahead through the Brembo's on there with the wheels. Look at that. Boy. <laughs> Look at that thing. So dope. Get out of here. Jeez. Not too bad for a $500 clapped out Z. But for the back, I was going to put the dual Brembo's on there, but I got to cut that shield out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to take a little grinder and knock this little shield off. Just cut around this edge right here and uh, go ahead and throw them on there. So let me get that knocked out. All right, guys, as you can tell, it's dark. I'm going to call it a day. We got the uh, dash bar in, got all the stuff for the AC and heat in, got the wiring harness laid in place, straped over and everything. So now it's got to like, you know, put the bolts in and clip everything in place. Um, so it's looking pretty good. Everything under the, under the hood is done. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but all the brake lines and everything. So not, not too bad. Um, but all right, that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. Um, like I said, that's all I'm gonna be to get done. Tomorrow I'll come out here and like finish doing everything and get this thing ready to put the engine in and all that stuff, get the transmission on the engine and you know, get it bolted all back together, put the wiring harness on the engine and the transmission, sit in the car, and we should be getting really close to test firing this thing. So in the next video, this thing will definitely be running. So make sure you stick around for that. But for this one, that's it. I'm going inside and get something to eat. But we'll see you on the next one, guys.